guys took a break. Uh, what did you both do, actually? Um, well, it was sort of between the albums, a short little, a few months. I don't know. Uh, I was looking for a flat. Um, I like, found one, but I haven't been um, <laughs> able to spend much yet. time in it. <laughs> uh, no, I just, I don't know, just relax at home, basically. Spend time with my girlfriend, went to see gigs, hang out with friends, which you can't really see when you're on tour and stuff like that. You guys are really cool. I mean, oh, thanks. of course you are really cool. Well, you're welcome. But I mean, cool about being in a band and doing all the things that you did. Because, I mean, you played with the biggest bands. You, you always sell out huge, huge venues. Uh, I mean, you get to hang out, cool parties, travel the globe. And it's just like, oh, we took a car took a short break and I went to see my girlfriend. Is it not really a totally exciting thing to be in? Yeah, I mean, I love traveling, so it's the perfect job for that. It's just great, you know. And also, you go around and you play your music, which is also exciting. It's, it should be, anyway, if, <laughs> if you're in a touring band. Well, let's talk music, then, because you guys have, a, in Holland at least, a new album out. It uh, came out in February. Mm. Initially, you guys got, and I was surprised to find out, you got some bad press in England for this album. Why, why is that? I don't know. I guess uh, I guess they had a board meeting and decided that they didn't like us anymore because we, we'd sold out. Which is funny. I was worried about it because basically, like, there's no way, like, the band themselves don't sell out. The, 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 like, the fans sell the band out because if you've sold more than a certain amount of records, you've sold out. But it's like, we're not buying the albums. We just made it and put it in the shop. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, it's just really funny, that whole thing where, like, you know, you're, you, yeah, you just become a sellout because too many people like your album, and that's wrong, apparently. Uh, but what do you do with this with these critiques? I mean, does it affect you at all, or do you just shrug your shoulders and write another song? I, I was I was really disappointed with the enemy. I thought because I, I we had like a betting pool going, uh, and and I I bet that the album was going to get four out of ten. And I was right. No shit. <laughs> yeah. But 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 the most annoying thing that I thought you know like if you've decided to put it down no matter what it is at least do it in a fun way and it was just a very boring review like it wasn't very humorous at all so I think you know if you if you're gonna like shred an album just really fucking you know piss on it uh, <laughs> you know m make it a humorous piss you know like you know take take the piss in a humorous way but it was just really. But what what about as indie as Margaret Thatcher? I mean. Really? Where did you read that? It was some punk rock, rock and roll magazine. <laughs> <laughs> That's genius. <laughs> yeah, but it's also ridiculous. I mean, come on. I mean, you what? guys are on a major label. Yeah, you feel? Yeah, we're on a major label. So, yeah, of course, so. we're not in the per definition. Yeah. The music we play is completely what we want to play. You know, that's all we can do. The only thing we can do is to continue as long as we think what we do is good enough. And we do. I love the new album. I love it too. Mm -hmm. Good. I like it also because of the lyrics. Do you guys get to write along with the lyrics as well? No. So it must be weird to record an album with all those lyrics and you probably know what they're all about, right? Mm, not really. Come on, come no, he's, he's very coy about his lyrics, actually. Um, but we, you know, like we. we but you, have, you must have some imagination. You must know that some songs are about some people that you probably have met. Uh, I've got some guesses, but you know, um, no, we just kind of deal. We just deal with the music. That's probably the good thing about growing up in Sweden, where you, English isn't your first language. You don't really care that much about lyrics. You can kind of like just forget about them. Just focus on melody instead. Um, so yeah, no, I don't. We won't really talk about the lyrics. It's just like, well, okay, well. You know. But do you, do you guys co-write as well? I mean, do you get to put in music as well? Uh, not so much on this album. I mean, we all r like write what we play. So, you know, so it was all the guitar parts are like my own work. But songwriting-wise, it was kind of Andy that was a sparring partner. Um, so not much. But we'll see. I mean, we're, we're going to start working on the next album pretty soon. So now that you know the situation's totally changed, you just never know. Wow. So this summer, and that's what I read, you guys are working on new material, and this summer it's going to be recorded, maybe? I don't know. I mean, we haven't really started yet, so we're just going to find some place to do it and go in, and then we'll see. If, you know, if we get on a roll, we could have it done by August. If we don't get on a roll, it could take another eight months. <laughs> you just don't know, like, you know. 
before you've started. And there's there's this thing going on with Andy that he's recording a new album and it's going to be a battle between the two of you. Yeah. <laughs> well, that would be interesting. Andy, uh, what? No, it's Andy. Andy is is recording oh, a new Andy. album as well. I thought you said Andy. Andy. She she did a new album. Way oh, ago. Boring, are we? <laughs> well, you guys are sellout. I mean, you might as well bring in Anya. No. Uh, no, but there's this. You're you're laughing about it, right? Yeah. I mean, good luck to him. I can't wait to hear his album because he did an album before, but that was sort of he put music to some poets' poems, so it wasn't really a soul album. So. Well, maybe it's not a solo album. Maybe find some other people to work with. I don't know. I haven't talked to him <laughs> recently. I, don't know. I mean, he was talking about playing with that other band, whatever they call. Was there a fight What's between that? you guys? Actually, is there is there, no, is there a bad no, vibe no, going? No, no. Do I feel a little negativity here? No. Well, maybe you do. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I do. I don't know. I'm like I'm 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 just sad it had to come to the point where he just had to go like that um and just yeah a bit upset he didn't say say that he was feeling a bit crap a bit soon and then we could have kind of worked it out a bit more amiably but um you know i mean i know they wouldn't have done it unless he was absolutely going mental so you know i think uh just leave it for a bit and then cautiously uh, establish contact again to playing a uh, small tour for, for us now, but do you guys get back for the festivals and uh, play uh, mainland Europe for the festivals this summer? Yep, that's the plan, yeah. Yeah, where are you playing? Um, you know this, or I mean... See, what are we doing? Or, or is it actually like Spinal Tap and you don't know where you are sometimes? Uh, it is actually like Spinal Tap, but we don't you know where we stage. are. Not on the stage. <laughs> on the way to the stage yeah, no, we have lots of people kind of pointing us, leading us to the stage, you know, <laughs> it's kind of like no, geriatrics and kick him out on um <laughs> but uh, uh i can't remember if we're doing uh, Holland, maybe ping pong yeah that's the thing I, I think we're just kind of negotiating still so i don't know if it's i think we're gonna well, it was a tbc wasn't it to be confirmed we may, may play it we don't know yet yeah, hopefully yeah, well you played lowlands before do, do you remember actually the gigs you played here lowlands we played that was one of the first festivals we did in europe in 2004 actually well, I think and then we came back i think <laughs> And we done ping pong. Yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, I just remember the first Lowlands one was. Wasn't that the one where there was like quite a lot of people at the start, and then there was just more and more yeah, and more. Well, there was both of them actually. No, yeah. no, that was in a tent. Yeah, no, that's the one I'm talking. All right, about. okay. Yeah, that, yeah. Was in, that was the, that was the Dutch one, right, in the tent. Yeah, because yeah, I remember thinking like, holy shit, we might actually be able to sell some records. Of, we might be able to go to Europe and play, because we'd never been out, and there was like loads of people at the gig, and they just kept coming into this tent. It was great. Well, that's good you remember us, so I hope to see you soon. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.